Welcome to our latest video roundup. I'm Valerie Jimison and I'm going to take you through our favourite science videos from the past week. Our first video features an unusual pair, a mongoose and a robot. Here Sandrine Kerstemont tells us how the pair are working together to sniff out disaster. This dwarf mongoose isn't being trained to do tricks, it's learning how to sniff out landmines. Engineers at the University of Maratua in Sri Lanka have taught it to stand up on its hind legs whenever it smells explosives. They chose a mongoose because of its sensitive nose and light weight, which should allow it to walk over landmines unharmed. But it won't be working alone. The researchers have teamed it up with a robot that guides the mongoose like a dog on a leash. A human operator can control the robot's movement remotely, in case the pair misses any spots. The robot was designed to walk like an iguana. It can detect obstacles in its path and senses which direction the mongoose is trying to go in. A metal detector at the front of the robot is used to confirm a find. In a recent trial, the robot mongoose team was very effective. They took just 30 seconds to locate a landmine a few meters away. Next we have some other robots who are trying to save the day. Sandrine Kerstemont tells us more. This week in Germany, robots will be battling it out in a competition called RoboCup Rescue, where the goal is to seek out and rescue disaster victims. They will have to navigate through a complex 3D maze and find, not humans, but toy dolls in distress. The dolls will mimic humans by emitting carbon dioxide, giving off heat, screaming, or attempting to move. By using sensing and mapping technology, the robots will attempt to save the dolls. The competition has been running for eight years, and each year the maze becomes more and more challenging. Steep floors, stairs, and corridors with randomly placed objects are meant to simulate rubble left behind by a disaster. A robot will earn points based on its speed through the maze and how many victims it finds. Judges will also evaluate how accurately a robot is able to map out the course. The winner of this competition is not likely to replace human emergency teams just yet. However, the laser mapping systems used by the robots may soon be used by people to quickly create 3D maps of dangerous environments. RoboCup isn't just about rescuing dolls though, it's also about playing soccer. These humanoid robots are competing in one of nine leagues and just like human players they can score goals, go after the ball and even fall down. To recognise their teammates and opponents as well as the ball itself, the robots are equipped with high-tech cameras and sensors. Artificial intelligence helps them process all the information they receive and they plan their game strategy accordingly. But this competition is only a warm-up. The robot's developers are confident that by 2050, they'll have a team of robots that can beat human world soccer champions. Watch out, Wayne Rooney. And that's all for now, but you can find plenty more science and technology stories on our website. This week you can find a slideshow of insects disfigured by radiation, or find out if Earth's magnetic field is causing suicides. Bye for now.